Hey folks, I am going to be doing a walk around video of this car. It's got quite a story. I bought it about a month and a half ago. Um, and as people that tuned into my channel know, um, I am not a company. I strictly uh, buy survivors, probably 20 in the last 15 years. And I fix them up, get them driving very nicely, uh, and then resell them. Not for a whole lot of money, I do it more as a hobby. Um, but this particular one, uh, I actually paid 32000 which I thought was way too much because I got about $4,000 of money and time in this car to get it to where I was told it was to be. Um, so let me tell the story. So, and I, I'll try to flash a picture when this sticker was still on the window uh, earlier. Um, but you can see uh, this, and there's nothing wrong with this, in uh, June of 2000, this car, uh, was the last time it was registered. And you can follow that on, uh, the Carfax. Um, I registered it in New Hampshire a week ago. So they took that sticker off and there's nothing wrong with pulling something out of, out of a garage that has been, you know, sitting for 24 years. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's great find. And it was great that he found it, but this fellow simply ceramic coated and washed the outside of this car and detailed it very, very well, a little bit of the interior and did nothing else after 24 years. So you can imagine the brakes weren't working properly. Uh, it didn't, uh, everything needed to be flushed out. Um, there were a few things not working. This, the rear shock mounts on this were just laying down and the mount in the trunk that pulls it down was not functioning. It was laying in the down in the bottom and he never told me about that either i mean there was just a whole lot of things but this is an original paint car it's not been restored it's been heavily undercoated when it was born i'll show you that sticker it does have some very minor spider cracking on the stickers on the lower valance other than that the bumpers the wheels um are actually rock chip free i have a hellcat this is a fly um hellcat 2019 that has more road uh chips than this car has let me get this off of here so you can see um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go, i'm gonna pull the hood on the car here let's do that next give you a good flash of the interior that was the other thing he didn't tell me is had a uh t tiny rip in the back seat i have two brand new back seats coming uh off of ebay that should be here in about a week. Um, other than that, everything is 100% functional. Uh, let me actually start the car first. Uh, so obviously starts great. Pop the hood. Get that all the way. This is one-handed folks, so I apologize. You can sell valve train is super, super quiet. Belts are quiet. Shocks on the hood work. I replaced this as well. Um, did the idler um, sensor. Uh, absolutely no oil leaks, no transmission leaks. I flushed the transmission out, put a pan with a drain plug in it so you can service that now. New master cylinder, a bunch of new front end uh, parts, some of the bushings of the, um, let me turn this off. Some, oh, before we turn it off, Let's go right to the air conditioning. I bought a meter here, so show that everything's functioning. We're gonna turn the air on here. You can see the idle adjust for that right away. And hopefully you guys can get a glimpse of, you know, I just turned it on, but it's going down. It blows super cold air. It's going down and down. It's about 90 degrees today. It gets down on a regular thermometer to about 58 degrees we're almost at 68 now so air conditioner works good let's shut this off so we can talk interior gauges shows 26,000 original miles i can't stand behind that there are a lot of things that tell me that is true um but you know again it was not taken out of storage very well but you can see the rubbers are all like brand new all the way around the door the felt these have not been changed at all i can tell that um new back struts you know because those after sitting and you can tell in the doorways here a car that sits this long leaves stain marks in the 
enamel on the inside. You'll see that on any other uh, survivor preserved car like this. But the nice thing about this car is lines are straight. It is all matching numbers. I did the work on that as well. This is a 350 car. This is not a 305 car, um, which they did not come with a manual. I apologize about that, but they didn't come with it. Um, again, drives beautifully. It had a little shimmy when I got it. It had a balanced, unbalanced tire I took care of. Um, T-tops are scratch-free, uh, fit beautifully. I have not taken it in the rain to know that they don't leak. Um, but they don't appear like they should at all. Um, even fix the light underneath the hood. Um, you can tell not, in, you know, it, it sure shows like a 26,000 mile survivor. Um, but it definitely sat for 24 years and collected a lot of grime. Um, and you know, nobody changed the fluids or kept up with it. Um, so, uh, defects. Some things that I wasn't told on the car. They did disconnect the, the fog pump, so it is in there and intact, but not hooked up and the catalytic converter has been removed. All the underneath exhaust, I do have this car on a lift and I'll attach that video with it. No rust, no rot whatsoever, but it has been heavily undercoated from the fact when it was born. I can show you the sticker here. Um, this was a Pennsylvania car supposedly owned by a football player back in 87 and the person I bought it from just bought it about a year ago to pull it out of that garage and um, you know polish it up and flip it to me but <clears throat> I paid 32.5 for this um, I don't know what I'm going to list it at yet but it will be a super fair deal because everything every defect uh, that was with it and coming out of the barn has been flushed. The radiator, oil change, transmission fluid, brake lines, new brake master cylinder, everything is 100% perfect. And I've put uh, about 2,000 miles on it already. So, you know, any defect that would be in there, all the electronics work, inclu including the cruise control, works fantastic. Cigarette lighter, uh, you know, for your attachments, not for the lighter is, is there. It's in the, in the cabinet all work. It was a butcher of a job, uh, radio that was in this. It is an aftermarket radio, but I do have the original radio in a box that comes with the car, including a bra, uh, that is an IROC bra that will come with this as well. So, um, I do have, it is strictly 100% OEM, uh, except for that radio, but I put the radio in and took all they had an amp buried under the seat and a whole bunch of other stuff that didn't work properly. Everything functions perfectly as it should with the original speakers that came with this car. This was a $17,800 option car when it was new, uh, in 87. So, you know, to get this car in that $30,000 bracket, uh, as a original driver car, you know, unrestored, unmolested, uh, other than what I swung around on it, that people did try to work on it. I took all that electronic out. It does <laughs> have a chip in it. Um, so it's got the performance chip in it. It's a very popular uh, add-on. I do have the original chip as well if you want to go back, but it seems to like it a lot. It's very spirited on the road. Um, and seems to give it quite a bit more kick. I was very, very surprised with the level of horsepower on this car. So uh, I'll be tailing into the other video, which will be the underneath when I handed it to shop on my lift. Um, but, you know, this will go on my channel. Anybody interested, you know, reach out to me. My email is thhonig, H-O-E-N-I-G, at, oh, the number two, at me.com. Again, T. H O E N I G number two at me, M E dot com. Uh, feel free to reach out to me um, and we can discuss all the details about this car. Hey, okay, going through a walkthrough underneath IROC 1987, IROC Z. Very closely. I'll pick out any flaws whatsoever. I put new rotors in the rear. See those brand new rotors back there? Ah, uh, calipers, sorry. I want to mislead you and uh, brand new bushings here and here needed them everything is rock solid it is heavily over undercoated i'll show you that sticker on the car 
in the door. Uh, this car was a heavy undercoat car, uh, which is probably what saved it. It is an original unrestored vehicle. Um, you can see under here, this is the original pipe. The catalytic converter has been removed for performance. It does have a performance chip in it as well. Uh, you'll notice no transmission. This is some undercoating here. Uh, no transmission leak, no oil leaks of any sort. Uh, again, very over, under, heavily undercoated, but uh, new bushings in the front as well. I did the sway arms. Where are they? There they are. Right there. And there. Uh, again, no oil leaks. Got the original dam. Uh, air dam is unbroken. No breaks in any of the plastic in the front whatsoever. Uh, it does have a little hanging down here. A little bit of Velcro uh, from the bra that comes with it that I'd never put on because I think they scratch paint. But uh, yeah, all in all, no, new oil filter, changed all the fluids. I am going to be changing this pan out, putting a drain pan in there so I can redo those fluids as well. This car has all its fluids changed so far. The rear end, uh, I did the radiator. Um, obviously the oil, did the brake lines, everything. So this car, although doesn't look pretty from an undercoating standpoint, but it is 100% rust free. Uh, that is the original pipe there as well. Um, can't say whether this is an original uh, muffler, although it does have the welds there, but I don't know as if they use clamps at the factory. That I'll leave up to the comments. But uh, car in very good condition for a survivor with 26,000 miles on the odometer.